What up, y'all? DC Bagel Guy. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Freaks Terror Tape. This just dropped back in April. If you guys have not watched my review for the Freak EP, you need to go check it out. Get a little bit of a background story of me and Freak and how I came to discover him. Um, let's jump right into this. Terror Tape. Goddamn. Freak delivers another fucking great one. The album artwork... Amazing. Big improvement from the last one. Again, if you guys have not seen my Freak EP review, my only gripe about that album was the artwork and the name of the album was very disappointing. Everything else on it was fucking great to me. Terror Tape, whole different story, man. This album has a great name. It has a great artwork. And to top it off, when everything is tied together, there's little skits at the beginning of each song of a fucking tape deck of like you hear the, the fucking tape playing and it ties it all together really fucking well. There is one gripe I have about this album. And I'll tell you guys that when we get done going through the rest of this. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Pop it open. There you have the freak one and only. He stuck to the theme with this one. Terror Tape. I love it, dude. I fucking love this album. Freak, Terror Tape. Everything themed very well. The artwork is amazing. We'll close it up. Flip it over to the back with the track list, which is Terror. I will say congratulations, but I'm sorry to say that you found a terror tape, so you'll be dying today. I know you couldn't help yourself. You put it in the hit play, and there's nothing that you can do to keep... Voices. I hear the voices cackle in my head all day, but I can only make out a few things they say. Telling me to murder them, child, I'm bleeding. I've been waiting. I wanna keep you living long enough to get you home with I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been watching, I've been watching. You call it stalking, call it stalking. I, call it I call it love. Now I'm in her home. Incomplete collection. My collection's incomplete, and I'm a burning these flames, but I can't keep from collecting because no two are the same. And consumed. You heard the words of terror, now you get consumed. Without further ado, it's time to give me the business. I'm taking spirits to the darkness of any who listen. I'm not gonna wait another minute to dip it to me. So, my gripe about this album, it's way too fucking short. I just start get rocking into this album and it's over. You know, that to me was disappointing. The, the, I I want more. I want more terror tape, damn it. This should have been longer. There should have been more to it. But, you know, I get it. Sometimes budgets don't always allow for a full-length album, you know. And he definitely looks like he put some more into the artwork and shit. So I don't know. You know I can't speak on his financial situations. But, you know, uh, I wish this was longer. That's the one gripe I have. There is one other gripe that I do have to point out. I'm sure he's aware of it. If he's not aware of it, I'm, I'm about to make it known now. But the song Terror, there's an, a very noticeable audio drop. Uh, the volume level is very low. You have to like crank it up to get the full feel of terror. And then you get into voices and voices blasts. So I have to pinpoint it that terror is the, the problem audio file. It probably didn't get mixed right or mastered right. The audio is just super quiet. And I usually have to crank it up, which then in turn caused me to get a jump scare from voices starting, which you know is a fucking great song. My favorite tracks on this, definitely voices, incomplete collection, and consumed. Terror could be enjoyed more if it wasn't for that audio drop, but I don't feel like I'm getting the full effect of that song because I have to crank it up and I feel like it's not, I feel like it doesn't hit as hard as it could. So, uh, I've Been Waiting is not a bad song either. That's fucking like stalker shit. I love it. I love it. And the thing that I love about Freak, you know, he's not, he's not trying to be ICP. He's not trying to be a fucking juggalo rapper. He's just straight up, he's a freak. And he's doing freak shit. He definitely falls in the realm of horrorcore. So if you don't fuck with a lot of horrorcore, you're not really going to probably fuck a lot with freak. But he definitely does horrorcore. He doesn't try to be ICP. I know some people probably cringed on um, the freak EP when he had a song called Wicked Shit. But, you know, and I kind of did too. But, uh, you know, I don't feel like he's trying to be ICP. And I don't feel like he really throws out there that he's a juggalo and he's a rapper. To me, he's just a freak doing fucking freak shit. And it's, it falls in the realm of horrorcore. So, uh, let's talk about Terror Tape. Terror Tape, absolutely fucking great album. Should be longer. I wish it was longer. Uh, the one track has audio issues. Other than that, it's a solid fucking 5 out of 5 for me. And this is just an EP. And he's already told me. Freak's already told me he's working on an LP. 
So yes, we've dropped out. We've dropped a lot of EPs, freak. Let's drop some fucking LPs. Hopefully, and hopefully you get a lot of fucking love and recognition and start taking off. I hope people aren't sleeping on you. People better be fucking with freak, or they're fucking up, in my opinion. But anyway, that's my review of Terror Tape. If you have not heard it, go check it out. If you like what you hear, go fucking support the album. Go support the artist. Because Freak's fucking killing it. I think he's great. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.